Hi guys, it's Kimberly. Welcome back to the channel. I have your new moon in Gemini forecast for the divine feminine. So I'm breaking it up this month. Hopefully you've watched the June overall energy reading and forecast and um, my newsletter is has either gone out by now or is going out if you guys missed that with the extended forecast then you can catch it i always repost it on the spiritual material girl um facebook page so you can catch that there um i am outside but i am not going to be hiking while i'm making this video uh, don't want to be panting in your ear but you might hear other distractions like birds and me swatting at bugs and things so um so yeah, so I want to bring you this update uh, again from the outdoors and just a channeled sort of a message. I do feel like the messages come through more clearly for me, either earliest in the morning or just outdoors. Um, I think from my channel, you can expect to hear more channeled messages um, than you'll see readings. I'm still going to do readings but I'm gonna to try to post more of these channeled messages as well. I feel like there's a lot that wants to come through. And, um, okay, so Divine Feminine, welcome to June. This is a big month, Divine Feminine. It's a big month. Uh, we have a, I have a cardinal right in front of me right now. And he's coming in as a harbinger and he's saying, um, there's big stuff coming for you. Um, there's some big changes coming for you. Be open and ready to receive. Okay. I feel like there's a couple things. One is get grounded, right? Because when there's a whirlwind of change coming in, in a positive way, it can still throw us off. Even if it's not like an upheaval, chaos, all that, even if it's positive, it can be a lot. Um, we are still working on balance. Divine Feminine is working on balancing her groundedness, her earthliness, the way she navigates through her 3D life with her spirituality. Um, this groundedness, even through change, I feel like the, the messages get rooted in yourself and your own power and your self-assuredness in your ability to keep your feet on the ground and keep things balanced no matter what comes your way things are going to change for the positive so the little pushes you get from the universe the new connections that start to pop up you guys are going to start meeting new people um some of you have divine partners that are going to come on the radar in the next few months and they're not who you thought your twin flame was um and I'm sorry if that disappoints some of you, but you just kind of have to open up to receive it because for a lot of you, it'll be really positive. Others of you will have sort of synchronistic type meetings, um, really like surprising chance, like collaborations, things that just spawn. They're just going to spawn quickly. And that's the best word that I could use is spawn. It feels like it's just spawning, like it's just popping up out of nowhere and quickly it's it's in material form. So you'll be pulling things into life very quickly. There's no, there seems to be like very little middle ground, which is good because that means where we're taking out the overthinking and we're taking out the debating and the waiting and there's no waiting period right now as we're going into this new moon energy. Gemini wants us to be grounded, but it's also like going to inspire us to get things in motion and to get things going. Um, we're going to be practical about our approach, but leave room for the impractical to show up, the unexpected. This is what I've been talking about for a while. The unexpected is definitely showing up. Can you receive it? <laughs> Are you ready and open to receive it? They're saying those of you who have been practicing embodying the divine are going to be much more ready than others. So you know when we put the term divine feminine, divine masculine on everything, I think sometimes it loses its meaning. And one of the messages I received was feminine. Go back to the 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 divine and divinity go back to the divine and divine feminine 
um, really get rooted in your, your divine feminine essence, that's going to magnetize everything for you this month and going into July and August. So with twin flame, so some twins who have been on the journey considering themselves in separation, um, I feel that maybe there feels like unfinished business or like a something wasn't completed or maybe you're still waiting for the twin to kind of come back in and it's going to surprise you when someone new pops up and they're here very poignantly for some of you as life partners for others of you it's also going to be showing you that you can move on you can have other deep soul connections with other individuals it may not just be time yet for you and your twin to come back together and there may be this sort of soulmate type relationship that comes in for you in between stay open these people are benevolent I feel like wh whomever is showing up for us is more a reflection of our more healed self our connection to our divinity okay don't look for it let it show up let it pop in let it pop up you know let it spawn um, creatively, I feel like you're going to be at such a creative height because this energy is picking up, the momentum's picking up, you know, and manifestation is so rapid. Like you're going to think something and boom, someone's going to reach out with the tool that you needed, or you're going to want to do a collaboration and someone's just going to be right there, the perfect person to do the collaboration with you. Or you're going to want to take a trip and boom, the right opportunity is going to just be right in front of you and the resources will be right there for you. So that's how quickly manifestation is happening. I don't see anything really mucking that up other than you. You're the only one that can stand in your way during this energy. That's why we've been prompted, you know, through May to do more purging and to get all that stuff up to the surface and to I have worked with so many people over the past few weeks doing regressions I've done more regressions in the in the month of May than I have done probably the entire year um, so many and I had to put some off you guys if I told you wait till June um, you can book in June now I'll open that up but it's been amazing Okay, and not everyone needs regression, past life regression or early life regression. We do a lot of this in like soul coaching and but if you feel like there's any blocks still standing in your way where you need to face some things or pull things into light to help you move into this amazing magnetic fast moving action oriented synchronistic serendipitous time that we're moving into then do it. Do it earlier in the month because I feel like this new moon is about setting your intentions and leave them general because like I said, unexpected things are showing up. So if it's I want love, then it's just generally I want love. I want to welcome love in. Um, some of you are going to be actually preparing for twin flame unions and it's weird because you're just going to have like a sense that it's coming. There's no physical indication that's going to show you, oh yeah, it's on its way. So you know who you are because you're already starting to feel it. And I feel like the preparation is this. It's simply go now all the way into yourself. Go now to your true song, to your authenticity, to your brilliance, to your confidence, to your divinity. Because that is truly what's going to magnetize this person back into your life. And they will show up much more ready than they were before. This is for about 30-40% of twin flames, of the twin flames that are identifying as twin flames out in the collective right now. You guys that are listening to this video, that's a huge astounding amount of potential unions that could start happening. It really is dependent on you, how in your brilliance you are, how ready you are to shine your own light, how much you've done the polishing on the inside, 
how much your energy is aligned with you. That's what's magnetizing your other soul half, energetic half to you. And that's how they're going to show up in a much more ready. I don't know if it's healed or in the way that you your 3D mind wants it to be. But I definitely feel like the word I'm getting is the divine masculines coming in more ready. Ready for commitment. Ready to look at himself. Ready to be more transparent. Ready to be more open ready to be more committal. I think I already said that, but I'm definitely getting that. Ready to have a commitment, ready to look deeper into spirituality or the spiritual connection. Um, Definitely showing up more ready to be in his divine masculine power, Um, more balanced. So that's for a percentage of these connections. Some of you might have a foreshadowing of this. I've been getting these flashes of like it's almost like the masculine being a little impulsive. And we saw that in my little quick reading at the end of May. Um, It almost feels like he might charge in impulsively or send out some sort of like a smoke signal to you. Some of you will get that. Some of you won't. Some of you won't know until you're right up on the time of union, which will be more towards like August, September, I feel for many, not every, I mean, I cannot read like your specific detailed timelines, but I can just pick up on the ways of energy in the collective and the shifts that I feel coming Um, but some of you will hear something from your twin over the summer, or you may also get information for some of you that's showing you like, oh, this isn't my twin or, you know, maybe it is my twin, but this, we're not supposed to, you know, serve together romantically in this life. That clarity is definitely coming for some of you. I see it being illuminated during eclipse season. So whatever is shown to you during eclipse season, let it penetrate and let it hold it next to like how far you've come, where you've like where you're at and be truthful with yourself. Because there might be something that's shown to you and you're like, honestly, I've shifted and this doesn't feel right to me anymore. There's someone else or there's something else coming in, or maybe someone else will have already come in and you'll look at this and you'll say, I, you know, I still feel this connection, but there's something that this illumination is showing me. It could be all sorts of things. Um, I've had downloads that you're seeing like the masculine, in a new light. Um, It's not coming from your own wounds and insecurities. It's like coming through seeing the truth of who someone is and really like now knowing the truth of your soul and like holding those two next to one another, like holding them side by side and going, does this match up? Does this match up for that type of romantic like life partnership or romantic partnership or however I've been thinking of it up until now? So you might get a new new definition of what this connection is for you, for some of you, not for all of you. Like maybe like 20% of you will have some illuminations and others of you will have illuminations coming through and your karmic relationships to help move them forward so that you get out of the karmic relationship. I have been getting those of you who are in like marriages that are where you've been wanting to move towards divorce. There'll be pieces of information that come up that may be deceitful or might shock you or might give you that final kick to be like, okay, I'm done. And now I'm ready to take action towards extricating myself or freeing myself from this partnership. You know, um, it might be like the kick that you need to let go of a sense of duty or obligation to the other person. Something like that's going to come through for you in eclipses. Um, All 
all relationships will be illuminated in their truest light. So expect that to come through. For some of you, it'll be more clarity that your twin is your twin and, and that the union is on the horizon. For others of you, it will be someone new's coming in. Or for others of you, it'll be it's time to leave the divine partner. So that's coming in July. So in June, it's still all about you. It's all about you. It's all about like being in a more action centered place. I have literally, I have three hawks circling over me right now. Um, and I feel like there's others around me, but I'm watching the path of these three hawks. Um, yeah, so three hawks just flew over and they're saying, yes, it's you, it's you, it's you, it's you. I also get the sense that there's, um, keep seeing Trinity everywhere some of you are coming together with your divine partner or your twin flame to create a trinity. So one of you has a kid or there's another soul involved or you're bringing another soul into the picture. I feel like there's three. Um, some of you are meant to like bring another soul in through your union or you're coming together to unite like a family, like um, getting like some of you that have like one child already that might be indicative of that um they're showing me three um three three I yeah and then those three hawks just came over overhead um let's see so very important is who do you want to become how do you step into your divine essence how do you move it through your life now like where you're acting it being it living it this is what's happening this is full emergence right now this is where we're coming out from our shells where we're getting out there where we really are connecting where we really are having those happenstance meetings chance meetings and opportunities opening new insights coming through creativity heightened you shining your light nice and bright. I feel like a new layer of, I feel like a layer of insecurity is getting shed. It's like you're leaving it behind all that stuff that came up in May, April and May. That's what that was for to help you come into your confidence center. And it's helping you just really radiate and magnetize. Like I said, by the time we're in July 2nd, the eclipse you are shining. You are shining so bright, like a, like a diamond, like really bright. Um, potential. Well, I told you about some potential things coming in July, the illumination of all relationships, truest form coming through, seeing the truth, matching up the energy, being really truthful to match, to look at the energies in the most truthful light to make the best decisions for yourself. Um, there is still free will, you guys, in Twin Flame Connections. Don't forget that. And listening to your higher self's guidance is really important. I just see the feminine embracing her goddess energy and being more confident than ever. And things really starting to crystallize for her. So what kinds of changes? I mean, just like I said, unexpected collaborations, unexpected new partnerships. Um, Could all of a sudden like go, I want to make a move or um, it's time to leave this job and kind of do it impromptu. It's a lot of you making some shifts and they are good. It's almost like you cannot hold space with lower vibrational energies whatsoever. And there's no way that you can disguise it during June and July. You'll have breaking points with things that are no longer for you so that you can just quickly call in the new reality. So when I talk about the landscape changing, I'm talking about this could be new job, new home, new life, new partner. It could be your twin flame coming back sometime here over the summer and into the fall and it being entirely not the way you were thinking of it a year or two or three or four or five ago. Um, It could be really it's showing up beyond like 
they keep saying beyond your wildest imagination, that type of a feeling beyond that. So when we set intentions, set general, I want to welcome in love, you know, I want to, you know, I want to shine. I want to share my gifts, like make it general. I'm telling you guys go general with your intentions at the beginning of June during this new moon, real broad, real happy, real hopeful, really believe in it. Um, but let the specifics show up for you because they're going to show up much differently than we expected. Be prepared for some surprises. Be pre- prepared for, these are not detours. They are not roadblocks. They are not tower moments. It's nothing like that. This is totally different. This feels like the permanent puzzle pieces falling into place. Permanence, commitment, um, things that are going to be there for you in the years to come. Homes that will be forever homes, partners that will be forever partners, life turns, life paths that will be more of what you'll be doing for the remainder of your, your, your life, you know, or at least the direction of that's what's coming in for us. It's huge. Be ready. Be open. Okay. Love you guys. I hope that's helpful for you. I'll see you over in the divine masculine reading for new moon. Love you. Take care. And if you guys want to work with me in session or um, book a reading, if you need more clarity on this, check out my services on spiritualmaterialgirl.com. See you guys soon. Bye.